All right, so starting with our lacrosse ball, placing it right under our heel on our right foot. All right, we're going to shift our weight into the right leg, and we're just going to drive down into that ball and pull our foot back on it. It should be pretty uncomfortable. So it's not going to be something uh, you're going to feel like doing all the time, but it's something that you should be doing all the time. Okay, so just keep pushing as much body weight as you can down and in to that ball. All right. Anything in front of your heel is fair game. Just don't roll on top of your heel because that's just all bone there. All right. Okay, once you get to your toes, you can do a little windshield wiper action just so you get those toes spreading apart. Okay, and then you can head back toward your heel. We're going to spend a minute on this foot and do the same thing on the other foot. Okay, so this is something that you should be doing every morning, 30, 60 seconds. This is just going to help your feet loosen up, get more pliability, flexibility. And I also am going to show something as well before we uh, move past our feet. We keep going on the right side. It's very tender for you. Like if you're not able to get on the ball and then stand on it, okay, so like apply pressure to your body, weight down into that, then spend some time on your feet. Okay, that means like this is all muscle down through your arch, right? So that's just something that you pay attention to get your foot. Jump on your right side and you, you can uh, start to move towards your left foot. Okay, start at your heel, shift your weight to left foot, and just drag your left foot back down toward your toes. We can do a little bit of a windshield wiper action on the toes, back and forth. Roll back. If you find one side's not as bad as the other, it's probably your dominant leg that's a little bit tighter, so you gotta focus on that a bit more. That's why we do this once a week. Just to show you the training wheels. Hopefully you guys are doing this at home. Okay, we'll spend another 30 seconds on our feet. And then I'll show you a little bit of a educational for your ankle, what to look for. All right, you guys can keep rolling your feet. So switch back to your right and just watch your cameras. All right, so keep rolling your uh, whatever foot causes you the most amount of discomfort. All right, and just listen, pay attention here. So if you have a mirror, access to a mirror or um, want to record yourself working out, like doing a couple reps of an exercise, Pay attention to your feet, especially if you're not, if you're wearing shoes. You can see that my ankle is supported, all right? I got a column all the way up through, just like a bridge, all right? Like nice and straight. Pay attention. If your ankle, if you're just standing there, like if you look down, even if you're just, you know, on the grocery store and your ankle's doing this and collapsing inwards, that's a no-go. And if you're standing like that all the time, that's not good. You're just asking to tear an MCL or an ACL. You probably, if you're standing like this, you probably have a, you think you have a class arch. You probably have some knee pain, patellar pain, right in front of your kneecap, probably some back pain. Okay. It's all stemming from that collapsed ankle. So you have to learn how to rotate it outwards to stack that column of the ankle properly to neutralize it. Okay, and in doing so, you'll see it being collapsed. You can't see an arch there, but with it rotated and stacked, now I have an arch. All right, so stacking that column of the ankle is extremely important. So when you're doing your lunges, and this is a big reason why I'm going to be getting new shoes ASAP, is because I'm watching some videos myself 
And these shoes are so old that they're drawn inside and it's making my ankle collapse sometimes, some reps. Even though I, I know what I'm supposed to be doing, it's making my ankle collapse, likely because of this big foam cushion at the bottom. So what I'm gonna look for is something that's almost on the ground, all right? Like something very, very thin. Uh, so my foot can read the ground better and I can feel the ground better through these shoes. So these guys are gonna be going in the garbage uh, pretty soon. All right, so just make sure when you're doing squats, lunges, split squats, that your ankles, okay, are stacked columns and not collapsing in, all right? We're gonna move on to our uh, quad stretch here. So get your mats out, okay? Knee on, left foot forward, do this on the wall you can otherwise you can just grab your foot from behind like so all right we're going to hold this for a minute make sure you're tucking your glute forward and keep pulling that foot in towards your butt okay but don't let your heel touch your butt okay you can also have your foot resting on the wall all right, if you need to for balance, you can hold your one foot with one hand and hold up to a wall with this hand, that's fine. Yeah, I know why I do one. I know why I do one. So Thank you. <laughs> what is happening? Come on, Charlotte. <laughs> Good guys, let's switch. Okay, tuck your hips forward, pull those that hip bone up towards your belly button when you're practicing the last three Saturdays. All right, really getting that emphasis through your hip all the way down into your quad, pulling both hands if you can. Again. Check that ankle, make sure you're not collapsing in, make sure your knees are collapsing in. Got another 30 seconds on this one. And then we're gonna need that ball back and then we're just gonna go over our calves and interior tip, which is the muscle that runs along your shin bone. Another 10 seconds here, guys. Good. Okay, we're gonna get the uh, ball back. <sighs> on our butts. Okay, let's start on your, non, on your dominant side. So my dominant side will be my right. So I'm gonna get my calf right in the middle, all right, only on the muscle. Get that ball right in the middle. I'm gonna cross my left leg, because I know I can bear it. I'm gonna just roll until I find a spot that stands out. Once I find a spot, I'm just gonna pump my foot, point, and flex as I drive down into that ball. Okay, and when that pain goes away or it's not too bad, find another spot. You can also rotate your whole leg to get the outside of the calf a little more or the inside of the calf. All right, so play around with that for a minute. And it's just recovery today, guys. So if you want to pop on and just ask a quick question, if you have any questions, feel free. Okay, just flexing, point and flex your foot, find a new spot, point and flex the foot, and just keep driving down mm -hmm. to that wall. Yes. When you find a good shoe, can you let us all know? <laughs> yeah, so what I'm going to be looking for, uh, it's called Vivo, V-I-V-O, it's called Vivo Barefoot. 
Um, I, th I found a couple pairs of them, but they only used to uh, have dress shoes, but now they have workout shoes. So I'll probably be trying out a pair of those. Okay, let's switch to the other side, or you can start to go towards the other side if you'd like. I'm going to spend a couple more seconds on my right side, especially as I get, uh, start to get down towards my uh, my Achilles there. Like I'm not going to be on my Achilles, but where the muscle and the tendon joints here, it's a little bit uh, tender. So I'm going to get right on that, do a couple more pumps, and then switch sides. Then I'm going to go to my left, switch if you haven't already. If you need more time on your dominant side, feel free. Again, play around your foot, just don't keep it straight on. Rotate it up to the side a little bit, rotate it in, see what hurts, see what doesn't hurt. All right, we'll roll it back and forth. I find on the outer part of my uh, left leg is a little more tender than anything else, so I'm going to spend some time there. And just breathe it out. I just found a spot that's hiding out, pretty uh, tender there. Just breathe it out, point flex. We're going to hit our anterior tip next, so that's our uh, our shin bone muscle there that runs right against the shin. We're going to start on our dominant side. We we'll do a couple more pumps on this side, so it's a little bit uh, tight. Good. So anterior tip, find your shin bone muscle, okay? That flat part right in the front, it leads up to like a mountain top, I guess. So it goes right up the edge, into the peak of that bone, sharp edge, right beside it is a muscle. Put that ball on that muscle, use the bone as a trap. All right, from there, hold that ball there, allow your knee to touch the ground, all right? And then shift your butt back towards your heel. It's gonna, it's gonna be painful. Once you can, start to point and flex your foot. Okay, and then as much as you can tolerate, so start to just shift your bum back as you can. Don't force it. Just make sure you can flex and point your foot before you start to shift your hips back. I saw after yesterday's boot camp, not too many people were active. <laughs> Nobody going in for a Friday walk. I think everybody sat on the couch, maybe a little too cold, had a couple uh, beverages. This is, I'm checking to see how you guys are uh, active or not active, how you guys live. Good guys, you can start to switch. Go to your other side. So again, find that edge of your shin bone. Put it right on the muscle. Use that shin bone as a track for the ball. Let that knee touch the ground. Shift your hips back. Point and flex your foot. Finish this side, we're going to hit up uh, the roller for your quads, or you can use the ball actually too if you want a little bit uh, more intense. Okay, 
Get a couple more pumps, guys, and we'll switch to our quads. Okay, quad. Okay, we want to just hit the one right in the middle. So find the distance, middle distance between your hip bone and your knee. Slam that ball right in there. Or the four to four roller. All right, if you're using the ball, that's what you're going to do. All right, lay right on the ground. And then just push yourself back and forth. Find a spot that stands out. It's going to be pretty easy with the ball because shoot, it's going to get right in there. And then you're going to just flex your heel towards your butt. Just like you're doing a hamstring curl. And then you're going to extend. Allow your toes to touch the ground. And just keep doing that. Find a spot that stands out, cause you a little bit of discomfort or a lot of discomfort. And work through it. We're gonna do the same thing on both sides. Once you can get about five smooth reps of flexing your heel towards your butt and extending down towards the ground, you can switch sides. So I've got that about right now. And then I'm going to switch sides. So same thing, my middle distance between my knee and my hip. Okay, put that ball there. Lay on it. I'm sure this side will be a little bit longer. Oh boy. Feels good, feels good. After this, we're going to go with the foam roller on your back. And if you're not even able to raise your foot up off the ground as you're driving your, your uh, quad down to the ball, like that's a problem. Like you're really tight. You gotta really focus on this roller. I, I, I roll probably four times a week, guys, uh, if not more, especially after a walk or even if my back is just like, you know, feeling off, I'll just hop on a roller and it feels phenomenal after maybe two, three minutes. Sometimes I'll spend 10, 15. Just depends how you feel. Okay, finish up this side, we'll grab the roller. We'll go onto our back. For the back, we're going to get it on our, uh, our glutes, which is going to assist our low back in a sense. So we'll have you sit on it. Okay, left over right knee. Okay, make sure your left butt cheeks on that roller. You're going to tilt it to the left. You're going to find a spot that stands out. That's going to be your piriformis, which is where your sciatic nerve runs through or under. And just hold it. You don't need to roll it, you just hold it. You just sit on it and hold. Now, if your legs cross and it's not flat like mine is, and your knees up like this, you got some hip restriction. All right? So that's going to be through your, your glute medius, might be through your piriformis, might be through your, your uh, TFL. All right? That's something you need to pay attention to. You should be able to have that flexibility where your leg can be like this. You might 
you might find that you have that flexibility on one side and not the other. So again, you got to hop on these on these rollers. Like everybody can work out switch sides. Anybody can work out five times a week, but can you also do the recovery portion of it? Because if you're not, I mean, over time you're just going to wear and tear. Okay, so this side, I remember my right side, it used to be way up here and I would have to tilt way over. But now it's just, I've got that flexibility through my head. And yeah, really focusing on my TFL, that's where I was uh, really bad. Um, that's that muscle right in your hip here that we hit. Okay, so find that spot that stands out. Once you find it, you'll know, you know, kind of for newcomers, you might just find a little of a, like a shock, like, like, whoa. Um, but yeah, you'll, you'll find a spot that stands out more than the rest. If that's when you're on it, hold it for another 20 seconds. And then we'll go to the back. And then we're going to hit the pecs. And then we're going to uh, do some exercises. Good guys, let's go to the back. We'll go right to the mid back. Okay. So right under your, your uh, shoulder blades. All right. Exhale, cradle your head and your hands. Let's point your elbows up to the ceiling and just allow your head to sink towards the ground as you exhale. And you're just gonna slowly roll upwards towards your shoulders on that roller and you might get a couple releases, cracks. That's awesome. Now your goal here is to allow your head to drop towards the ground. So just allow your body to sink with gravity, but the head and the hips sink down towards the ground. So if your head and your hips can touch the ground, you got some excellent back flexibility. And again, big exhales as you roll. Guys, we'll finish up here. We'll both stand on your feet again. If you're going to need a wall or a door frame, as well as your wall. Okay, it's going to be the pec stretch that we usually do. All right, opposite foot forward where you lean in like this. But that ball, well, it's pretty much going to be right where that logo is. Okay, so that logo. Here's my shoulder, all right? Here's the middle of my chest, pretty much right there, wherever that logo is. A little bit towards the, not bullseye on it, but a little bit uh, towards the right, if you, I guess you're looking at me, towards the right of the logo, all right? That's gonna get your pec minor here, okay? So we're gonna get you on, that, on a wall or on a door frame. Just make sure you're right on the muscle. Opposite foot forward. And you're just going to drive, like just push your force straight to the wall and drive, all right, into the ball, all right? If you can, you can pull that hand back. So not this one, the one you're rolling, but you're going to do this motion, okay? Just a little bit, external rotation. Okay, so put your, I'm, I'm on my left side, my left hand going to be on the wall, and then I'm going to pull back as much as I can. It's going to be maybe two, three inches, then I'm going to rest on the wall, keep driving into the wall, and posterior, or uh, external rotation, backwards. You'll be able to see a little bit more when I do the other side. Good guys, we'll switch. Okay, same spot on your chest, 
Hustle forward. Okay, drive into that ball. Find that spot that stands out. And then you're going to bring your arm back. Just like I am here. Keep leaning up and into the wall, just like you would in a back stretch. Good guys. Let's get on these exercises. We'll take another. Yeah, perfect. Take another 10, 15 minutes to get through these guys. So we're gonna start with whatever straight line, whatever distance your room you're working with. You're gonna go heel walks, the full distance of the room, and then tippy toe walks. All right. So your toes are gonna be up, you're gonna walk on your heels. Okay, the full distance, you're going to turn around and then walk on the balls of your feet. Okay, back. And you're going to keep doing this for one minute. Go ahead. Okay, I'll tell you when to stop. You just keep going until you hear me tell you. So walking on your heels, you should feel your anterior tibialis, the, the shin muscle burning. Okay, and then walking on your balls of your feet. You should feel your calves working. Make it a point when you're on the balls of your feet to be nice and tall. Okay, make yourself nice and tall. Okay, make it a point when you're on your heels to really flex those toes towards your knees. You got 40 seconds. Twenty seconds. Very good. That's going to go into our sprinter stride. So I want you to be on the wall for this one if you have access to or a door frame. If you don't, you can do it in open uh, open space. All right, but if you do have a wall, use it. I'll show you what I want and then I'll show you an open space one. So I'm going to start on my right side. All right, I'm going to get my right butt cheek on that wall. My left butt cheek is going to be off the wall. All right, from here. I'm going to sink down as low as I can. All right, my back knee's bent, my back heel's up. My front heel elevates, my front knee is outwards, okay? And I'm going to hold that as I rotate into it, all right? So a forward view, now this is going to be my left side. I'm going to back my foot up into the wall, sink as low as I can, out, make sure my ankle column's good, and I'm going to rotate, all right? Open space, it's just what we've been doing with that split squat, down and over, okay? But this, having your butt on the wall is gonna train you to do it properly so you're not sitting back further. You should be leaning into this a lot more, all right? So go ahead, we're gonna do one minute per side, starting on your right side. Okay. So go ahead, holding both heels up, back heels down, or back heels up towards the ceiling, front heels up, your legs should be shaken. And we rotate into our front knee with our upper body, we hold. 
Keep that back knee bent slightly. Keep it coming. Yeah, excellent. Keep your depth. Ten seconds. Get low, get low, get low. Three, two, one, switch. Other butt cheek. So you should be feeling that in your quad. Your legs should be jumpy. If you're able to just stand there like this and nothing's happening, then we, we're doing something wrong here, but everybody looked all right. All right, make sure from the side view, this is what you're doing. Your butt's on the wall though, all right? So if you're standing up like this, then obviously you're not doing it right, okay? You gotta get low and rotate down and into that knee. Other side, ready. Left butt cheek. On the wall, left foot forward, right leg back, rotate in. Let's go. Keep that front heel high and elevated. If you look over at yourself in the in your video, you should look like you're mid sprint. So we want your front heel high guys. We want your leg to look like they're jackhammers. Okay, so your leg should be bouncing up and down. You got 20 seconds. Keep that front heel high. Ten. Five. Good. Booty bands, heavy. Up and around the knees. <clears throat> okay, wall sit. Fist width apart, all right? So only a fist width apart with your feet. So measure that out, all right? You're gonna sink down. Push your knees out and hold. 10 seconds, go ahead. Again, make sure fist width, not shoulder width, not hip width, fist. Come back in, push out, pull. Heels high, backs off the wall. Back in, back out. Really squeezing the glutes. Really think about your butt cheeks squeezing together to keep your legs out. Back in and back out, three more. Back in, back out, two more. Squeeze. One more, back in, back out. Five. Time. Off the wall, keep those bands on. Okay. We're gonna do our kickbacks. When there's skater stride, you can use a, a wall to hold on to. Kick back and out. Okay. You're gonna do 25 on your left, 25 on your right. So you're not just kicking straight back. Okay. You're not just doing this. You're backing out, all right? So whatever side you're kicking back with, you're going out to that side as well. So for example, I'm on my left side, I'm gonna kick out to the left, back and out to the left. And I'm doing 25, getting a glute squeeze. And you should also feel that on your standing leg as well, because you're keeping that knee out. All right, so it's not gonna collapse in like this. All right, 
that standing leg, keep that knee out, keep the columns of your ankle in line as well. If you can be doing this barefoot, definitely be doing this barefoot. Okay, 25 on your left, 25 on your right. Okay, when you're done 25 on one, go to the other side. We've got about five other exercises to work through in the next six minutes. When you're done these kickbacks, you're gonna go right into lateral steps with the bands on. 25 each leg, 50 total. Okay, so you'll be sinking down, push your knees out. It doesn't need to be huge because we don't want our column to collapse. All right? Picture your leg as a bridge support. If a bridge support looks like this, you probably don't want to drive over that bridge, right? But if it's looking pretty stable like this, we're good to go. All right? So little steps, but keep those knees out and push. All right? Your glute medius, your glutes are working when you're pushing your knees out, not when you're just letting them slack off. All right? And little steps. Three, four, five, okay, you got 50. And you're trying to stay as low as you can with them. The lower you can get, the more your glutes are gonna feel it. Oh, wow. When you're done 50, I'm at 25, but when you're done 50, you're gonna need your mat and you're gonna be face down. Oh, my ass. Oh. Oh. When you're done 50 guys, you need your mat, you're gonna be face down. Okay, I'll give you 30 seconds to finish up. All right. See how those abs are working. So we're gonna need uh, in a sit-up position. We're gonna be doing six reps of sit-ups with 10 seconds down. Six reps with some sit-ups, 10 seconds down. Okay, so if you can have somebody stand on your feet or uh, you can put your feet under a couch or a pile of tiles like I've got, right on, all right? We're gonna start on your back, six reps, ready? Come on up, and here we go down. Set, let's go, one, two, Three, your head and your back should be on the ground at 10. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Up, right away. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. That's three. Up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, 10, that's four, up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, up, last one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Ugh. So you're getting that right through your abs, guys. Good work. On your bellies, Superman's. Hands behind your head. You're gonna come up, hold for three. We're gonna do 10 of these guys. Okay, so hands behind your head. Okay. When you come up, everything's up beside your hips. Okay, maybe a little bit of your belly, but that's it. Hands behind your head. Come on up, torso, legs, squeeze your glutes. Back down. Up. One, two, three. Back down. Up. Squeeze the glutes. Hamstrings. One, two, three. Back down. That's three. Doing ten. Up. One, two, three, four. Up. One, two, three, five. Up. One, two, three, six. Up, get your elbows back. Two, three, seven. Up, nice and tall. Two, three, eight. Up, one, two, three, nine. One more. Up, one, two, three, ten. Good. Keep face down, arms out to the side. You're gonna come up and squeeze, okay? We're gonna do shoulder circles, forward, all right? You're gonna go for 30 seconds forward, and then we're gonna rest it out for five seconds. We're gonna do it backwards for 30 seconds, and then you guys can have yourself a good weekend. Ready? Arms out, both arms out. Okay, legs stay planted, squeeze the glutes, pop yourself up, let's go. Shoulder circles forward, palms down. Maintain that squeeze the back. Your mid back should also be working hard to keep you up. Halfway. Biggest circles you can without touching the ground. Stay tall. Eight, five. Time. Ready. Arms out. Set. Palms up. Let's go. Okay, make sure your palms are facing the ceiling. Stay tall, halfway. Eight seconds. Three, two, one, and time. Good. Good work, guys. All set. All right. Make sure you remember to shut off your uh, timers there if you're within the challenge uh, and have a good rest of the weekend, guys. Uh, make sure that you're staying active, stay on top of that leaderboard. Good work, guys. Have a good weekend.